Hey everybody, Karen Bryan for M. Mahid. I'm here with Hanato Moicano who is taking on Cub Swanson at UFC 227. Um, when you got the matchup with Cub, what were you thinking? Because you had actually called him out before, right? Yeah, I, I think it was a big opportunity to show my work and to, to prove to the UFC I deserve to be on the top five of division. So why were you so interested in a fight with Cub? No, I think he is ranked in top five, and I want to to I want one day I want to go to the title shot. So I think it's the makes sense to to do this fight to see who go forward and who, and who don't. So obviously he's ranked higher, but was there something about his style of fighting that made you think you would be a good matchup for him? Not, not, not matchup. I think it was we will be good to the public, you know. So I think will be a great fight. We came to fight. We like to stand up. So the people will will appreciate the UFC likes this. So I think let's do this with a guy who is top five. So yes, the fans like to watch fighters stand in front of each other and just go at it, but that's not always the smartest strategy to win. So how can you beat Cub? Yeah, I, I can tell you, but I will. <laughs> <laughs> not even a hint? Do you think you have more luck on the ground? I, I don't use my ground so much now. Let's see, but I want to stand up. And so you've been training at ATT, is that, is that correct? So why, uh, why did you choose that gym? I choose because it's a good environment with so many good athletes and they do like a hard work every day and I feel comfortable and I feel close to Brazil because he's in Florida, have so many Brazilian people and Latin American people and I feel like in home. So both you and Cub lost to Brian Ortega. Did you learn anything about Cub watching you know, the fight with Brian since you both shared that opponent? Yeah, yeah. I saw this fight and I saw like a holes in his game and I feel maybe I can exploit, I don't know, but I have one strategy, but we never know. In, in, inside the cage is uh, all different world and let's see if my training camp is, is, is in the right path. So I want to ask you what it meant to you to see Jose Aldo win uh, in Calgary. He's one of my favorite fighters, always has been. Uh, yeah, so what did that mean to you to see him win, not only win, but in such a style? Yeah, it was great. Uh, I watched the fight. I, in the beginning, I think it's danger to, do, to Jose Aldo exchange like that, you know, but he he's champion and he was champion and now he's champion because I, I never see nobody dominate uh, Jeremy Stephens like he did, you know. Jeremy is a very tough fighter, strong, strength, strength. He has strength and power. And Jose Aldo exchange and knock him out is crazy, you know. I feel, I feel really good to see Jose Aldo in that form with this, with men, with the head on the right place, you know. And I feel he can be champion again. Great. Well, thanks so much. Boa sorte. What? I said thank you so much. Boa sorte. Ah, obrigado. Boa sorte. Yes. Thank you. Obrigado a todo o público. Thank you, everybody, to watch me. <laughs>